everyone and welcome back. So today we're going to be taking a look at some of the best current deals on physical Switch games that you can find on Amazon. So if you follow the channel, you know that normally we are very focused on eShop deals and that's not going to change at all. However, today I wanted to do something a little different because although I buy a ton of games on the eShop, I'm also a physical collector. I love buying physical media. So today I thought we'd take a look at some of the deals on Amazon that are really, I would say, great, great pickups for the moment on the Nintendo Switch. Now, if you're wondering why I chose Amazon, I just wanted the most general site that pretty much everyone has access to, no matter where you live within the US. I personally even live in Canada, but I do sometimes buy my physical games from the US just because you guys have some amazing deals over there. Also, obviously, since we're mid-March right now, I do know that some of these games were cheaper during Black Friday, Boxing Day. But if you don't want to have to wait almost eight months for some deals, I do think nonetheless that the prices these games are being offered at right now are nonetheless very worthwhile if you don't want to have to wait till the next Black Friday sale. Now, the last thing before we get started, don't forget that if you do like this video and you want to see more, please hit the like button. It's the best way to support the channel. At the same time, also subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Now, the first game on our list I don't think needs any introduction, and it is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It is pretty much the best selling game currently on the Switch. Why? Because pretty much everyone can have a ton of fun with Mario Kart. You break this out at any party, any friends gathering, and everyone will have a ton of fun racing around the different tracks as the different Mario characters. And it's highly rare that this game is on sale out of Black Friday sales. But right now on Amazon, you can pick up Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for $39.99. If you don't know, first party games rarely go on sale outside of the special events. And right now, $39.99 for a first party Switch game, pretty much the best selling one on the Switch, is very rare. By the way, as we go through these deals, if you want to pick them up quicker, I will be leaving affiliate links down below in the description of the video. So if you want to pick them up, that is probably your easiest way. Now, the second game on our list is going to be pretty much the cheapest one on our list today at only $14.99 for a full physical Switch game. And that is Civilization VI. Basically, if you've never played Civilization, it is a strategy turn-based game where basically you have to build up your civilization and become the dominant civilization in the world. You can do that through negotiation, through war, through a bunch or even technology. There's a bunch of different strategies you can employ. Now, the reason this game is cheap isn't because it's a bad game. It's an extremely, extremely good game and the port on the Switch is done very well. Simply, this is probably one of the worst tutorials for new entries into the series. So the sales on this game weren't great for the Switch, simply because if you've never played a Civilization game before, it does take quite a while to learn how to play, and you really have to check out YouTube videos for the proper strategies, because the game doesn't really help you all that much with its different tutorials. Now, the next game on our list is probably one of the best value propositions currently, which is the whole Bioshock collection, meaning Bioshock 1, Bioshock 2 and Bioshock Infinite for only $19.99 for the physical collection. Now, I do have to warn that certain of the Bioshock games will be downloads, meaning they aren't exactly on the physical cartridge, but nonetheless, if you are a physical collector of Switch games, to have the whole Bioshock collection for only $19.99 is amazing value. And basically, even when it's on sale on the eShop, it's only about a $5 difference to have the physical version. And I recommend this one on the eShop every time it's on sale. But for physical collectors, $19.99 is also, I think, amazing value to have a physical cartridge. Now, the next game on our list is another 2K game, which is XCOM 2 Collection. Once again, very close to its eShop sales price. It's been sold for only $19.99. So for a physical collector, this is another great value proposition. 
of course, once again, it'll have a fair bit of download required. So once again, this is more someone who enjoys having the physical games for their collecting reasons. However, at the same time, for only $5 extra to have the physical cartridge is nonetheless, in my opinion, a great value proposition once again for the Nintendo Switch. Now, the next game on our list is an amazing value for someone who wants to get into a new fighting game, and that is Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. Now, I know that generally licensed games of Power Rangers especially have not had the best history, but trust me, this is actually a really, really good fighting game, especially for someone who is trying to get into a new fighting game with a very low entry gap, because basically, Yes, it does quite take quite a bit of effort to become a master at this game, but you can actually become pretty decent pretty quickly, meaning you won't be a top ranked player in the world, but you'll have be able to have very decent matches very quickly in Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. And once again, I'm going to say it, this is actually a full fledged, really balanced fighting game. So if you want to get into a new one and you don't want to drop a huge bunch of cash, but you want a physical version of the game, Power Rangers Battle for the Grid at $19.99 is nonetheless, in my opinion, some pretty decent value. Now, the next game on our list is the Sonic Double Packs. Now, the one I have on the screen is honestly the really stronger of the two packs. There is another one that I will leave linked down below with Sonic Forces and uh, Super Monkey Ball. Super Monkey Ball is a great game, Sonic Forces is so-so, but the one I really want to focus on for today is the Sonic Mania and Team Sonic Racing Pack, because ultimately you're getting one of, in my opinion, the best 2D platformers for retro gaming on the Nintendo Switch, which is Sonic Mania, and you also get Team Sonic Racing, which is honestly a really decent twist on the whole kart racing mechanic with a really Sonic feel to it. Is it as good as Mario Kart? Obviously not, but it is a fair change of pace and it's fun sometimes just to try something a little different. And at $30 for both these games, you're actually not that far off their sales price when they're on sale on the eShop. So nonetheless, for a physical collector, this is an amazing double pack to pick up. Now the next game on our list is another regular entry from our eShop deals list, and that is Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. And once again, these, this deal at $19.99 for the physical version of the game is not far off the eShop price, which is generally somewhere around $15. Basically, this is one of the best JRPGs to come out in the recent years. And don't let the kid-like visuals let you think that this is a sort of very weak RPG. This is a full-fledged really deep storyline based JRPG. So if you're a fan of that style of gameplay, you definitely, definitely need to pick up Nino Kuni. And if you're a physical collector, an extra $5 for the physical version doesn't feel too bad. Now, the next game on our list is coming at an odd time because right now all eyes are on the new entry Monster Hunter Rise that is coming out at the end of the month. But right now, you can nonetheless pick up its predecessor, which is Mon Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate, for $24.99, which is really cheap for a Monster Hunter game, simply because this is the kind of game that you can sink hundreds and hundreds of hours into and always find new things to do or new, basically, items to craft. And ba Monster Hunter Generations for the Nintendo Switch was a seriously good entry. It was basically an upgraded version of the 3DS release. And personally, for $24.99, I would definitely add this game to my collection if I didn't already own it. <laughs> and unfortunately, I paid the big price of $40 and I felt good about it. So right now, picking this up for $25, probably because the sale is being timed because the new one is coming out, is a pretty, pretty decent pickup. Now for our next game, we're back with another 2K Games collection, but this time we're going to be looking at the Borderlands Legendary Collection. Now this, you're getting three of the best Borderland games to ever come out. And basically they've been remastered for the Switch and they are once again very, very decent ports for each game. 
And right now at $29.99, it is a little bit more expensive than the other collections on this list. However, nonetheless, I would definitely say that the Borderlands Legendary Collection is worth the extra $10. Once again, there will be a fair bit of download required. But once again, as I said, today's video is really dedicated towards video game collectors that like having physical editions or people that own multiple switches. And we'll sort of get to that a bit in the conclusion of this video today. But nonetheless, the Borderlands collection at $29.99 pretty ma much matches almost up with the eShop deals price and is some amazing value for three amazing looter shooters. Now, the next game in our list is technically not even on sale. And that is the Sega Genesis Classics collection that is being sold for $29.99. But this is, in my opinion, the one of the best value collection for anyone who is a fanatic of retro gaming, because you're basically getting over 50 games for $30. And to have a physical version of this game guarantees that even years in the future, if you still have a working Switch system, you still have access to all 50 plus of these games in a portable format. And that is really the kicker in all this. It's that these retro games are some of the best Sega Genesis games and to actually finally have them in a easy portable format on the Nintendo Switch is amazing. I personally even double dipped on this. I had bought it on the eShop uh, originally and when I found out that there was actually a physical version because I just didn't check, I instantly picked it up physically to make sure that I would have it for years in the future. Now the next game on the list will not come to a surprise to many of you out there who follow the channel because you know I'm a huge Mega Man fan and that is Mega Man 11 that you can currently pick up for $19.99 which is once again only $5 off of its eShop deals price when it normally drops to around $15. Now Mega Man 11 was a return to basics for the Mega Man series and really bringing it back for modern consoles. So if you love 2D platformers, Mega Man 11 is an experience that you should definitely, definitely pick up. And personally, because I have a Mega Man physical collection, I own every Mega Man game in its original version that has a physical release. Well, this is an excellent time to pick it up to fill that gap in your collection. Now, the next game on our list is another one of those future proofing situations. The Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. Personally, if you're a fan of Street Fighter or just a fan of retro 2D fighting games in general, I would definitely pick up this collection as quick as possible. With Capcom shifting to its online arcade type of mechanics that it just launched on the Switch, I really think that they're going to stop production of this collection pretty quick, meaning that they're going to want to focus for people that want to buy Street Fighter 2 and the different versions of it. They're going to start pushing you towards that online arcade setup. So I'm not sure we're ever going to see in a very generous fashion as Capcom did for this collection because you are getting basically over nine different Street Fighter games for $30 right now. It's, it's normal price is around $45, but right now you're getting it for $30. So as I'm saying, this is really a future proofing situation where if you want to make sure that you want to have access to these games without having to rebuy them on Capcom's digital arcade, I would definitely pick up the Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection if you don't have it already for your collection. That's pretty much it for today's video based on the best Switch physical deals that I currently found on Amazon. Obviously, there's a lot of subjectivity to this list because I went with games that I found were best valued. But if this is a series that you would like to see, now I don't expect to do this on a weekly basis just because there isn't as much movement on physical deals as there are on eShop deals. But if you would like to see this series, I would say on a maybe monthly basis, let me know in the comments down below and also by really hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel if you aren't already because it's the best way to let me know that you're liking these new videos. And you know what? If it gets a decent amount of views and a decent amount of likes, we will definitely be bringing this series back on maybe, like I said, a monthly or even bi-weekly basis. Now, once again, just before we go, don't forget that I did leave affiliate links down below to all of the games I showed today. So if you want to pick them up, you can always use those links. 
But as usual, I hope I see all of you in my next video.